Okay, so the Tragically Hip, this is Bob Cajun. This was off of 1999's Phantom Power. And this is probably their most loved song. Uh, it's probably between this and uh, Head by a Century. Um, and I'm making this again uh, just a few days after Gord Downey has uh, sadly passed away. It was announced last year that he had a terminal uh, illness. And, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I don't want to get into that, so um, we're just going to focus on this song today. And um, I'm going to go over all the acoustic stuff here, and I'll also just go over a little bit some of the electric stuff. The electric stuff is, uh, it's really more just um, kind of filling in sounds and tones, you know, um, but the acoustic uh, part is probably the one that everybody wants to learn. Okay, so the biggest thing about it is it's in the key of G, but it's open G tuning. Okay, so I'll put the tuning down here, um, but just to go over it quickly, um, we've got to tune our uh, E string down to D, and A string to G, D string leave, G string leave, B string leave, high E string down to D. Okay, so we've got that classic open G tune. Right? And we're going to start the song like this. Okay, and it doesn't sound like much, but there's actually quite a bit going on there. Okay, so the first chord we're going to play here It'd be like doing an E minor in standard tuning, but only we're going to put our first finger here on uh, uh, B1 to get the C note. So we, and we're going to go, we're going to mute this lower string with our thumb and play the other five. So, and the strumming is going to be... So down, up, down, up, down, up. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, down up, miss the down, and hit the up, so... Right, down, up, down, up, down, on that last one, that's open. Again, muting that, that lower string, okay? So we got... And then we're going to go... Just a pull-off on uh, B1 to open G. We kind of got to keep the strumming going there, so. And then we're going to go back to this chord. And we just kind of go one, two, three, right? So. Um, and then we're going to go. slide up from B1 to B3 and we're going to play the last three strings. So it's um, real slow. Okay, really nice part there. Rob Baker is a really good guitar player um, and he's really good with these open tunings. Okay, so so far we've got And then we kind of repeat that. So it's like it's like a hammer on. Right, whereas the first one we're going. This one we're going. Okay, so. Okay, so that last one is E string, G string, hammer on to D2. And sometimes I'm I'm hearing this. Right? Instead of I hear. 
Okay, and that's the intro. So real slow. And then the song starts and we're just going to be like this. And that's, right, so we're hammering on again on uh, D2, right, and Sometimes he throws that high one in there too, but it's mostly the low one. Okay, and that goes on as the singing comes in. And then eventually we're going to get to this... Um, Okay, and that just that first chord, right? remember like the E minor with the added C there, and then we just slide that up two frets, and remember the whole time we're muting that low, low string, right? Okay, and then to carry that on, we're just going to move that up two frets, like that goes up there, but just do it with your third and little finger, that's what I do. Okay, now any of the videos that I've seen of them playing this, <laughs> the camera is just you never get the view of whatever chord this is he's playing, so I'm not sure if that's exactly how he's doing it, but it really doesn't matter because that's the chord you want, right? That's the sound you want. Okay, so we've got... a bunch of times and then we get into the chorus which is that night in Toronto part and we're gonna play this E minor it's actually kind of like an E minor 7 because we've got that uh, D note the high D in there so we're gonna be E2 and D2 muting the A string right so we've got we're gonna go to a C chord but we're just gonna play it like that D2 and, and E1, and just kind of mute the uh, E and the A string. Now, you could also play it here, right? Just, just barring straight across there on the fifth fret. Like, kind of, even though, like, and you get the bass note that way, right? This way, you don't get the bass note, you're on the third, but I kind of like the sound of that. So it's like, and not into. in this open tune you have to play it like that so those two are the same right but we have to get um, a2 and I kind of finger it like that or like this right now another way you can play that too is up here get the third in there so that's um, B a7 G7 and B7 play all the strings
just carry on, all right? So let's just take it from that night in Toronto. Pretty old lit for the um, the acoustic part. I think this is the part that most people will want to learn. Uh, anyways, really nice playing by Rob Baker, and um, you know it's just one of those songs, right? Just like a magical kind of a song, um, and really nice to play just on your own with acoustic. And being an open G, it just it gives it that really nice sound, really open, full sound. Anyways, let me just flip over to my electric here, and I'll just go over the. Um, the chords that you play and uh, the electric is going to be in standard to me okay so just one second all right so for the electric part we're going to be in standard to like i said um, and we're really um it's just sort of a lot of ambient sounds coming from the guitar right so um when it first comes in it's kind of like just doing these kind of Sort of doing those like um, sounds, you know. The notes aren't really as important as um, just the ambience and getting the delay setting. You know? I've just got a tap tempo on this, and it's just a digital delay. Okay, so that's that part, um, and you basically just kind of do what you want. I would say that when they recorded this, every take would have been different, right? Because it's just you're improvising that sort of ambient sound. And then in the choruses, um, basically, we're going to come in on this B minor. And I've got a compressor on too, so it kind of really sort of squishes it all down, right? We've got that B minor. And then we got a, a C, add a 9, so we got that D there. And then we've got this G chord. Right? And the first time it just... I hear that in there. There's a lot of stuff. There's organ in there. There's even some, uh, I think it's pedal steel, but. Now that chord, you could also play like that. Just barring on the fifth fret. I kind of like that because you get the open G, right? So. That kind of, you know, just sort of ambient stuff, right? Okay, and then it goes to the E minor, which is the night in Toronto part, right? It's e minor, C, and then G, D, E minor, C, and D. And in that part, there's all kinds of stuff going on. That's where the, you can really hear the pedal steel. Um, and there's little guitar lines going in like stuff like that, right? You know, just little little embellishments, right? Okay, so that's really it for the electric guitar. Um, there is that other one part that doubles the bass. Of 
course, it really doesn't work with delay, so let me just turn that delay off. And it's just, we're in that, that little box there, G major, pentatonic, and it's, right? Okay, and then later on, he's kind of going to do this. So that's... Right? Yeah, it sounds really easy, but it's actually kind of tricky to get your first finger to get all those notes. Because if we just bar there, I suppose you could do it. I prefer to kind of take it on and off because I just find this a little tiny bit cleaner. So that's basically it for the electric part. Um, just, you know, uh, B minor. C add 9, G, A minor. And then the E minor, C, G, D, E minor, C, D. And then those, just those sort of ambient parts that come in. And then... that little percussive part that doubles the bass, okay? And that's it for the song. Uh, fantastic song, you know, really absolutely love this song. And I think if you're Canadian and you're kind of into music, it's like one of those songs that you just love it, right? <laughs> Everybody loves this song. And really sad about Gord Downey. I mean, he was just a great, a great poet, a great, uh, sort of spokesman for uh, Canada and uh, he'll really be missed you know anyways that's it for this one I hope you get something out of the lesson I hope you enjoy playing the song and we'll talk to you next time